Hey, how's it going? You got time for a beer? I know I do. My name's Jake. Uh, this is my show. It's not Thursday, um, but I've got some time, so you guys are going to get to me, watch me drink a beer. I'll probably tell you a story or two, too. Uh, what I've got today is Black Hearted. It's a Black India Pale Ale from Bell's. Uh, one of their heart, whatever that is, where they had a whole big bunch of the uh, the two-hearted kinds of things. Um, the cold-hearted and the black-hearted and the two-hearted and the uh, light-hearted all in one ba in package. So I got this um, a little bit ago and figured I'd drink one now because it sounded pretty good. Um, been out for a little while because, well, because I had COVID. Um, Luckily, it didn't hit me too hard. Still have all of my smelling and whatnot, so that's great. Catch me at uh, Untapped YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69, so you know when, uh, when it's time for that. Uh, let's see what it says here. This black IPA holds no ire towards love lost. It thrives on it. Remember your ex. Take a few sips and then go back to you enjoying your day. There's someone else's problem now, anyway. Nice. So anyway, um, it's a black IPA. Should be um, dark and hoppy. At least that's the hope, right? We'll see how this works out. I know I had some, like the, uh, the one from the Alaskan Brewing Company that I had recently was was a dark IPA, like Dark Skies or something like that. And that was real good. I liked it a lot, more malt forward than what I was expecting. I, I really do like that one. Thick, dark head, interesting. The head on this almost looks like it's a stout. Like I go almost Guinness, but not obviously. Um, 7%, so it's a little heavier than what I, I really like, but it's not too bad. It smells like two-hearted. Strange, right? Because it's two-hearted essentially. The hot profile is too hearted. The malt profile is darker. Um, it it tastes like they burnt too hearted. <laughs> um, I mean, I kind of like that taste, so I guess that's good. But like, it tastes like burnt toast, um, and hops, which is good, I guess. It's supposed to taste like hops. Let's see, what does this remind me of? Um, like the very first time I had a Newcastle Brown, maybe? Just it tasted different than anything else that I'd ever had. And this tastes different than anything else I've ever had. It's almost like they hopped up a, uh, a Guinness, almost. Because it's not quite as creamy as a Guinness, because Guinness tend to be um, nitrogen infused. Because that's what that little widget thing's for. But it tastes real good. I mean, burnt, but good. Um, let's see, does this remind me of a story? Um, I don't know, maybe I'll just tell you about... I mean, the last few days... I've been sleeping, and that's pretty much all that I've been doing. Watched a couple of movies. Um, but yeah, staying in, being quiet. Coughing, suffering. Mostly I've just been bored. Because, you know, I'm, I'm off. I'm sick. I'm not supposed to be doing fun things. I did go out and throw, throw some uh, disc golf discs around a little bit in my backyard, but...
It was above freezing and, well, no, it wasn't above freezing. It was just below freezing and sunny. So it was a real nice day to go out and do that. You get a little bit bundled up and go out in the glasses and throw some discs around. It's a good time. For sure. Um, but yeah, I've been, my girlfriend keeps trying to convince me that I should get a tattoo. And I told her, sure, I'll get a tattoo as soon as you get one of the piercings done that I've got. She's been talking about get, getting that done just so that I have to get a tattoo. I don't know if that's fair or not. But I already know what it's going to be. It's going to look a lot like this. Probably monochromatic. And probably on my calf. Because it makes sense to go there, really, with what it is. Um, let's see, what else? I don't know. It's really weird when, when you get that first message. Like, my sister was like, oh, your nephew has been diagnosed with COVID because he had, like, a weird bacterial infection. Like a nose ear thing. Took him to urgent care. They got him some antibiotics. And then they were like, oh yeah, by the way, he's got COVID. So you and anybody else that he's coming to close contact with should check. I had an at-home test. I checked. And they were like, yeah, yeah, you got it. Or the test was like, yeah, you got it. Like pretty much right away. Like I put the thing down and it was like, yep. That little line showed up right away. So I made an appointment and went and got it tested someplace else so that I can get paid for having COVID because it stinks. But I mean, I've got it and I shouldn't be around people if I've got it for a while, at least apparently. So I went and got that taken care of and then I waited for two days. I had two days off of work, so not that big a deal, but my test stuff didn't come back until the day that I was supposed to go into work. But they also backdate from the date that you got the test done, so it was my day. So today's my last day of getting paid for not having COVID, or for, for having COVID. And then I'll go in tomorrow and do my thing. It'll be super fun. I'm sure I won't be tired at all, because... Short days there. I'm sure it'll be great and everybody will be super happy to see me. Actually, I'm positive everybody will be super happy to see me. Positive. <sighs> well, that's that. Uh, don't forget, you can find me Untapped, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all at tubajake underscore 69. Um, I got a quote for you. Uh, let's see, this one's from Victor Hugo from Les Miserables. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. I thought it fitting for, you know, me being sick and not being on here for a little bit. Um, don't forget, you can tell me your stories. It'll be great. Maybe I'll tell them to other people like when that happens. Sometimes people text me things, give me suggestions. I did get that uh, that beer that they're talking about the other day. So I'll, I'll do a review on that soon. All right. So, I mean, till next time. I'll see you then. You got time for a beer. <laughs>